I love campfires. They're so comforting. I'm thinking of a campfire that happened on the night Jesus was arrested and early the next morning, which is Good Friday. It was in a courtyard outside the place where Jesus was on trial, and there Peter stood after the night before telling Jesus that he would never deny Jesus, that he would stick by him. There he was asked by a servant girl if he was one of Jesus' disciples, and he denied it. Not once, but three times. And then the rooster crowed, and Peter realized what he'd done, and he wept bitterly in sorrow because of his failure. The campfire here tonight reminds me that in our failure, just as in Peter's, Christ still loves us and gives us a second chance and many more. He gave Peter a fresh start after the resurrection, and it was at a campfire uh, on an early morning by the Sea of Galilee. He asked Peter if he loved him, and Peter affirmed it three times that he did love him, and Jesus told him to go and take care of my sheep and feed my lambs, and Peter became a leader in the early church. So take comfort in this campfire and in this great story of forgiveness and grace that Jesus gave to Peter. That same grace and forgiveness is there for you as well. So receive it today as we remember Good Friday and Jesus' suffering and death on the cross for our sins and for our sakes. Take comfort in that and be encouraged. And walk with Jesus. He will guide and lead your life.